took that uh, controversial mark. I think it was in the second quarter. Kennedy was the flyer. Comes down to Robertson. We can count his touches today on one hand. Russo. Now to McCarthy. McCarthy has left half forward flank. He's gone for a pass, trying to find Knights. Who's made the most, shall we say, of limited opportunities yes. down there. He's taken five marks, Peter Knights. Oh, he's not their worst player, Peter. He hasn't had many chances, you mentioned just then. Knights has kicked one goal. And as you can see from that shot, very close to the boundary line. And about 40 to 45 metres out. Right on the goal on par for that one. It's a goal. Good shot by Peter Knights at the five and a half minute mark of the term. Hawthorne's 11th goal, Eston and lead 17-10, 112 to Hawthorne, 11-8, 74. It's gone 49,000 in today, Pete, which is a good crowd, really. That's the shot by Knights from the boundary line. And he certainly can kick it from that position, Pete. He has good shot. And has played a reasonably good game, considering the amount of opportunities he's had up there in the full forward position. Approaching the six-minute mark now of the last quarter, 112 to 74 it away by Ludridge, unfortunately for Hawthorne the wrong way. Mr. Smith put Benet out of business with a good hit and shoulder, picked up by Kennedy. On the Ludridge, he's uh, head and shoulders above his Hawthorne teammates and so far as best player is concerned. Michael Tuck now from right centre wing. Tuck up towards the half-forward line, off the hands of the pack of rebounds though to the Eston skipper, Gannaher. He's gone right across goal. Don't think it'll be dangerous because Harvey's there. Oh, gets it back beautifully to Weston. Ezard and Robertson. Ezard spoons it forward for Watson. Watson chips it forward. Tuck spoiled by Baker. Watson again, covering plenty of territory. Looks for the hand pass. Weston, goodness me, what's he doing down there? He could almost kick a goal. He's got the hand pass out to Donnell. Donnell, in the Madden. Easy as you like. Madden puts through his second. You're watching Seven's Big League, part of the Nissan BFL Premiership season. Only one point the difference at quarter time, but Essendon's victory set up for them by a brilliant second quarter in which they kicked seven goals to Hawthorne's two, and the Bombers finally running out winners by 36 points. We check the stats now, and Essendon we see on top in the marking departments, the handballs, the hit outs, and also the shots at goal. In the goals at VFL Park this afternoon, Roger Merritt got four for the Bombers, and three each to a number of players, Baker, Elshaw, and Harvey, and for Hawthorne, Three goals kicked by Gary Bacanara, who started on the bench, and also Peter Knights, as we mentioned in the commentary, certainly made the most of his limited opportunities of forward. In the Essendon rooms after the match, I spoke to bomber coach Kevin Sheedy. Well, Kevin, you've got the four points. Were you happy with the four? Oh, yeah. I, I was really pleased with our players today. I felt that, um, you know, we played on the Tuesday night, and, you know, over to Adelaide and back, and the late night and that sort of thing, it um, takes it out of you a bit, so... All in all, we lost Michael Thompson, who's a running player, very, very early in the match. And that I thought that might have added a bit of sort of running, uh, lack of running to the match that, that I might have been concerned about. But no, I was very pleased with the, the players. Uh, they got to the lead and they hung in there. And you know, as well as I know, when Hawthorne and Essendon play, it's just going to be a real Dow consistent sort of performance from both sides. I think Dow might be the operative word, but it? it wasn't perhaps pretty football after half time. Oh no, well you know, as I said, you know, like it's. Um, out in the ground, it's pretty heavy out there. You know, it's a lot heavier than what a lot of people think that much to that, that ground at the moment. So, uh, and it was um, interesting. A lot of players were slipping over, and I think that they would have sort of they go in pretty hard at the ball, and you know, it's just going to be one of those hard slogs. And Kevin went on to say that Paul Salmon very short odds to come back into the bomber side next week, and we'll be speaking to the fish a little bit later on during our program tonight. And of course, he kicked ten goals in a superb comeback in the reserves match this afternoon out at VFL Park. We'll take a break. Back in just a moment. Coming up next, some all-time great goals on Seven's Big League.